Hi YouTube, it's Joshua Miles and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can tell from the title, is beyond stupid. You all thought my breakdown last week when I turned myself into Ellen O'Neill was bad. Well girl, you're all in for a treat today. Today, I am going to try to become right-handed. Now, I've not gone full-blown crazy. This video does actually have a little bit of a backstory to it. So, if you're not aware, I make true crime videos every single week, and with making those videos, it requires a lot of research to get all the facts and the storylines and the everything together. And I tend to do the vast majority of my research uh, by hand, so I write all the information down and then put it together into a cohesive video script. And let me tell you now, the hand cramp is a very, very serious issue. So sitting there last week researching a big case that's coming soon, my hand is cramping to f And you know what I thought? If I could just write with my right hand, then I could just switch hands when I get cramped. Now I know that basically means I'm ambidextrous, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. And then I started thinking about how great it would be to become right-handed. Being right-handed would open up a whole new world of possibilities for me. Us Satanists, aka left-handed folk, get discriminated against on a day-to-day -day basis in this very horrible modern world. Everything is designed for you right-handed people. From fountain pens, to cutlery lades at restaurants, to guitars, to computer mice. It's honestly all very, very handiest. Now to stop all of this discrimination against me, I thought, you know what? It's time to turn myself right-handed. I'ma live that right-handed, privileged lifestyle. Now, before we delve in and try to stop me from being the spawn of Satan, aka left-handed, let's go over the daily struggles that only left-handed people face. Right-handed people, prepare to have your privilege <laughs> checked. Things that only left-handed people understand. Ink smudges. Lefties are well aware that they can't write anything without ending up with mm -hmm. ink smudges on their hands. Yeah. Not to mention usually ruining whatever they just wrote down. Oh, you can actually dumb. purchase a smudge card that? that wraps around your hand so you don't end up with embarrassing ink stains. Honestly, ink smudges is such a huge issue, especially when I was at school. Whenever I was writing with like a pencil or a pen or anything like that, I just get it smudged all the way up my hand and it's disgusting and gross and nobody wants it. Little did you right-handed people know that at school, the left-handed students hated each other, fighting to the death over the last pair of blue scissors in the classroom so you can cut up your stupid cut and stick activity so you could get the best in the class, you could get it done. Oh, it was so much stress. Now the trick is though, when you were young, is to befriend a fellow left-handed person because then there's two against the rest, if that makes sense. It's like a battle to the death, it's teamwork. If you get the scissors first, then you can share it between you, it is it was a whole thing. Playing music. It is said that left-handed people are far more creative than right-handed people. True. But they also have a hard time being able to showcase this creativity. Musical instruments are almost always made for the right-handed person. Usually, lefties need to order instruments especially to suit their needs, which makes things more difficult and more expensive. Conspiracy theory. Cuché Dawson music. Right-handed people are trying to control us left-handed people's creativity by only making things for right-handed people. They're trying to control us because they're scared of our creative power. They're scared of us. Right, this video is going way too far. It's getting out of control. Okay, so now that all you right-handed people have had your privilege checked and you're aware of the struggle, let's interrogate some of these handiest right-handed people and find out why they think they're so much better than us Satanists. Me, my little brothers, William and James. And the reason we're all here, Mama Miles. Now let's get right to the questioning. Why do you think you're better than me? <laughs> um, I don't. What does it feel like to be able to write with any pen you want without smudging on your hand? What about left-handed pens? <laughs> awesome. How does it feel that everything from computers to guitars are all designed for right-handed people? <laughs> Well, don't know. Right now, the world is changing. So, there'll be more left-hand alternatives. Do you consider yourself to be handist? No. 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 Exposed. Exposed. You're exposed. You're exposed. Am I just having another breakdown? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, I don't think I'm actually ever going to be able to just beat the devil out of me. Being right-handed is far too much effort than it's worth. I'm just going to have to struggle the rest of my life. You know, I'll just buy the left-handed variation of things. Left-handed pens, left-handed guitars. I just buy a left-handed version. Which, by the way, are sometimes more expensive, which is handiest. All left-handed people are cool kids anyway, right, Dad? Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this Wednesday video. Um, these Wednesday videos are gradually recording and documenting my descent into um, the abyss. Um, I'm slowly losing a part of me with every single video. If you're new here, I upload two videos a week. One on Wednesdays, which is um, this kind of video. I don't know how to describe this. And one on Sundays, which is a true crime curious case episode. I'm going to leave a link to my curious case true crime series in the iCards above. So you can check that out if you're into true crime. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified every single time that I post a video. Next week's video, I will be turning myself into another one of your favorite youtubers so be sure to click the bell icon so you can be notified and be the first people to see that i'd just like to thank all of my patreon members for supporting me and helping fund these videos um as you can see their money goes to um pretty important things like Oh, an Ellen O'Neill wig. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to become a patron, it's just patreon.com forward slash Joshua Miles. There are only two tiers, a $1 tier and a $5 tier. And both those tiers get access to my videos one day early when I can do that. And the name at the end of the video and the higher tier gets access to Patreon only live streams and polls and just discussions. Now, with all that being said, I will see you on Sunday for my next true crime episode. See you in the next video. Well, we said it was fine for me to complain about all the things you didn't want to hear. Oh, what a shame I was far too blind to see that you're so in love with me. <laughs> Shouting way too much.